Good morning, adventurers. <laughs> it is our last day here in Slovenia. We're still in Ljubljana. We have one amazing day ahead of us. We are gonna go try a bunch of dishes, a bunch of stuff we have not tried yet. I'm We're very excited. We're also gonna get to see the city a bit more. Yeah, so we've only seen the city pretty much in the dark and a little bit during the day, but not with you guys around. So we'll show that off to you. But first, we wanted to show you guys a tour of the place we've been staying at because it is pretty dang cool. It's this, another top floor area. And the woman um, who lives here is an interior designer. And so this place is maybe one of the most like artistic places we've ever stayed in. It's really well put together. Yeah. So first is the cool living room, a big old hangout area. We loved it. There were four of us here and we all fit perfectly on the couch. We played tons of board games here. Probably the most interesting element of this house is this swing. <laughs> it really holds people. Yeah. Our host assured us that this has been tested. Am I doing it right? I don't know. Well, that's definitely going to break I, it if I anything will. I think I'm pushing will. my luck. Oh, jeez. Ah. Ah. Looking good. <laughs> it kind of, it works a little better if you do it like this. So you have to engage your core, which is nice. It's like a workout as well. All right. Onward. Okay. <laughs> we have some guests, you guys. Hi, oh, guys. Mind us. I'm just having a cool, refreshing glass of milk. <laughs> do we know you? No, we've just been stalking you. Oh, okay, cool. We can't see that. So, this is the kitchen and the uh, dining room area. This is where we've been getting a lot of work done and cooking a lot of delicious vegetables over here. Oh, yes. You guys might think we don't eat very healthy, but when we're not out eating on the town, we are cooking vegetables, y'all. And plus, she's a vegetarian, so, you know. Vegetables! <laughs> but this is my favorite space in the house. Check out this light fixture. I, I thought this was some kind of weird rope or something, but this this is copper that they just yeah, kind of bent. It's really hard. Yeah, it's really cool. But there's all kinds of greenery plants all over the place. She assured us that she watered the plants before she left. So you she were left. not responsible for their deaths? Yes. <laughs> and of course, there's a guitar. Ta-da. It's more for decoration though. It's missing a string, but it works. I almost forgot to show you guys the loft. We got probably the coolest staircase I've ever seen. It's super sturdy, which I did not <laughs> think it would be. This is where we have been sleeping. So it's got this really cool, maybe the coolest loft we've seen. So many windows yeah. that you can't sleep in, which is great for us because we always try. Yeah, all the natural light is amazing. You can see yeah. this is all kind of open here. Yeah, so you gotta watch your really step. Cool. Don't accidentally step down here in the night. But. but one nice thing is she has like these like wires over there. So you can't really yeah. go rolling off into the, the abyss. And then they have this uh, porch out here, which we haven't gotten to use because it's been a little chilly, but this is pretty bomb in the summer, yeah, I bet. Yeah, in the summertime, having a drink up here would be great. There's so many qu little quirky items and knickknacks all over the apartment. And I think that's why I know I'm not an interior designer because I'd have such a hard time picking out all these little things. And that's what really adds the uh, personality to the apartment. Like there's so many little things you can just walk around and just, look, there's two little matches right there. <laughs> she put that there. Yeah. <laughs> We're heading out into the town. Links as always to this place are going to be in the description below. There's also gonna be a magical link that's gonna give you $40 off your first Airbnb booking. Mm -hmm. It also gives us a little discount. It's like an affiliate code. So help us help you. Yeah. It's all good. Also, we'll link to um, our host's Instagram account so that you can get some oh, yeah. design inspiration if you'd like. found this cute slash ugly rodent guy down there. We were trying to figure out what the heck he is because he's not really a beaver. And we looked it up. It's, a, it's uh, a Nutria? Nutria, N-U-T-R-I-A. We'd never heard of that before. Yeah, they are um, aquatic rodents essentially. So just imagine huge rats with web feet that can find you on land or in sea. We are currently at the Central Market, which is this big old market in the middle of the town. They have a whole produce section, like an outdoor produce section over there, but then they have this more covered area where you can get all sorts of goods and wares. Yeah, for some reason we decided to tell you about this standing in front of the underwear display, but <laughs> you can get that here too. Well, I'm on the lookout for a hat because I lost my other hat, so we're gonna find one today. Done with some of these when we were in the oh, barn. Yeah. Look, they got plenty of room dance. here. Yeah. That's perfect for me. I think I found the hat. I'm gonna go with one of these. 
Ta-da! Oh yeah, looks like a hat. It's only 10 euro, which is good because I'm going to lose this within a week well, for sure. Well, he lost his and then he lost mine, so... And then you lost your poncho. That poncho well, she got in Turkey, she lost it. The shop owner said it looks super. <laughs> there you go. I guess I better get it. You're looking lovely, sir. <laughs> All right. The restaurant that we've come to is called Druga Violina, and I think that it means second violin or something like that. Or I translated it and it said another violin, but I think that was just a bad translation. Yeah, look how cool these menus are. Yeah, it's like half of a violin. That's very cool. But uh, the whole place is violin themed, and not in a kitschy way. They have schematics of violins over there on the wall, which is really cool. Some old school pictures and all kinds of stuff. But we have put in our order. We've gotten a little bit of lunch wine. This is actually our light last day with these two guys. So we got some wine. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to you. <laughs> so the food has officially arrived and we ordered the Slovenian plate to share. So it's four two, but we're splitting it between three. You could probably even split this between four people and it would be fine. So the things we are most excited to try are this sausage right here, the Kranska sausage. And then we have these little dumplings in here, these cottage cheese dumplings back here. So very different types of dumplings. We have some buckwheat porridge over here, which is a local classic. And then surprisingly, fried chicken is really common here. The fried I chicken guess, looks good. Yeah, I read that um, it was really big like among farmers and it just kind of spread. But the sausage and the different types of dumpling are what I have my eyes on. I think I'm going to try the sausage first. The Kranska Klobasa, which is probably dead wrong. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, there's, there's no way that's going to be bad. Oh yeah, it's so juicy and you can see the skin just pops when you cut into it. Mm. Mm. Right when you bite into it, it's satisfying. It is so salty and flavorful. The best thing about a piece of sausage like that is the skin on the outside. Right when you bite into it, you can hear it rip and then the juice on the inside bursts out. It is so good. So I'm going to try this little dumpling right here, the Idriski Zilkrofi. Uh, we'll put it on the screen because that is definitely not the correct way to pronounce it. But it's a very popular dumpling here. It is made from a dough and it has potato filling inside. I think I read that sometimes it's served with meat or in meat sauce or it can be on its own like this, in which case it's covered in breadcrumbs and I think there are some breadcrumbs um, sprinkled on there. It looks super simple though, I'm excited for it. It tastes like super savory mashed potatoes inside a dumpling. It tastes almost like there's sour cream in there, or chives or something like that. The potatoes are really good and tangy almost, but it's just a little pop of flavor inside there. This is the uh, Strukli. It's a cottage cheese dumpling. I really love cottage cheese, so I'm super excited to give it a try. There's some uh, sauce on the top here. I'm guessing some kind of sweet sauce. It almost looks a little sugary. Put a little bit of that on there. It smells very savory, actually. Is it supposed to be sweet or? Be done either way. It smells pretty savory. Wow, that might be too big of a bite. Oh well. <laughs> that is really interesting. It really doesn't have a ton of flavor to it. There's just a really subtle cheesy flavor to the cheese there, and it has that kind of cottage cheese sticky texture, you know? And then you got the dough on the outside, and this sauce up here, I didn't really get that much flavor from it. No, don't eat it straight. Woo! It's very dry and kind of chalky. So like a flour? Yeah, it's very flowery. Wow, it's not what I was expecting at all. It's actually pretty nice, but it just doesn't have a ton of flavor or anything. I think I was expecting a little bit more, but it's pretty tasty. I mean, if you like cottage cheese, you'll probably like it. It can come with various toppings, and we weren't sure if this mushroom sauce over here is what was supposed to go with it. And we've already asked our server 20 different questions, so we feel bad asking her again. But I'm going to try it with the mushroom sauce and see how it is. Oh, that was good mushroom sauce. These guys were telling me in the background how good it was. Man, that's really good. Last but not least, we've got to try the fried chicken. It looks really good. Yeah, I'm excited. So being from the south in the U.S., we love our fried chicken. So I'm excited for this. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's all juicy and stuff in there. It looks, looks nice really and nice. crispy and crunchy on the outside. Mm. Oh, I can smell smell it oh, now man. that you cut into it. Oh, it smells good. That tastes just like my grandma used to make it. Maybe a little less salty, but it's like perfectly fried and golden and then super moist on the inside. Yeah. So 
So we tried the buckwheat and no one really liked it except me. They all said it tasted bitter. It's pretty bitter, it's yeah. interesting. It's weird, because to me it didn't really taste that bitter. You guys should let us know if you taste buckwheat, do you think it's too bitter or not? Because I thought yeah. it was pretty tasty. So now I'm, I, I have to eat all this. <laughs> All right, there was one more thing we had to try. Another dessert. Yesterday, if you missed it, we tried blood cream cake, which was just, I mean, pretty phenomenal. We're still um, sick from it. Yeah, <laughs> it was fantastic. It was so good. Pretty rich. And accidentally, so our lunch, because the uh, blood castle was a little too expensive to get food. But today is a different story. This little sucker is called the Prekmerska Gibanica. I'm probably pronouncing that poorly, We're but... We're pronouncing everything wrong, guys. Yes. Sorry. So it's named after the region that it's from. And this is... It should be poppy seeds in there with some walnuts, apples, raisins, and cork, or I believe cottage cheese filling. And then it's got the um, the dough on the top and the bottom. We didn't know if we would love it. I don't love poppy seeds, and I don't usually like apple or raisins in desserts, but it smells so dang good. I wish you guys could smell it. Oh it smells gosh. like sweet, warm oatmeal. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. A little nutty. Right now. Yes. Well, let's see here. Ooh, it's really soft and doughy. The cream cake yesterday was really crunchy. Oh, on the top and bottom. Looks like the bottom's hard, the top is soft. I think it's gonna be super warm. Let's see. Oh, it smells so good. So I wouldn't say that there's any one flavor that really jumps out as a star. The nuts on there you can taste because I guess they're on the top. It's kind of like um a really spongy, gooey cake. It's really hot, really warm, and then it's just really sweet. It kind of tastes earthy and nutty. It's really good. The cream cake, I liked a bit more, but this is really nice. I like that it, it has so many different dimensions to it with all the different layers in there. Another very interesting thing about this little guy, though, is that it has protected geographical status. So I believe that means that it can only be made here which is pretty cool, or in this region. There was another dessert that we were really wanting to try. Which one was that? Um, Podica? Podica? Podica. Something like that, but uh, yes. that's like a must try thing when you're here. Yeah, we saw it on a lot of other videos that people commenting you have to try it. We thought it would have been on the menu there, but it was not. Yeah. So we, we've seen it a couple times, but if you should, if you come here, you should try it. I think it's pretty simple. I think it's mostly like a rolled up cake that looked a lot like our dumplings from earlier, mm -hmm. but with um, a walnut okay. filling. So it's kind of a nut roll. Next time, yes. reason to come back. So now we're gonna head back to our, our car. We're gonna drop that off, say goodbye to our trusty vehicle. And then we're off to Ireland. We're supposed to be at the car rental agency at three. It's 2.57. Woo! Do it. Yes! Go, go, go. Go team, go. Laptop back in there. Yep. Okay. Looking good, guys. Thank you. Can you tell, give them context? <laughs> We've broken the straps, guys. Look at this. Damn. All the straps, every strap imaginable is broken. Everything makes sense in context. <laughs> Y'all, we are saying bye to the beans. We dropped off the car, now we're dropping <laughs> off the beans. I'm gonna see you on the other side, guys. Oh my so god. Sad. I'm gonna do this again for well, until I see these next guys yeah. next time. <laughs> they are a little bit late for their train, so they are shoving off ASAP, yeah. ASA please. And then we're heading to the airport. I know, it's gonna be just me and you again. <laughs> Boring. It's alright, there'll be more barns in the middle of the countryside in our future. Yeah. More bean, Guaranteed. endless adventure action. More Coming bean soon, adventures. Hopefully. And make sure you guys go uh, follow them up. We'll have links to their channel oh, yeah, in the description below. They're heading off to Italy, so lots of pizza and deliciousness yeah. headed their way. Wine. <laughs> Although we might have to go on a diet after hanging out with these guys. Sorry too about Definitely. it. Definitely. All right, get out of here. Okay. Just go. Get out of here before we get cry. Okay, we'll be coming. You can't keep we'll us away. My mom will be practicing uh, spotted dicks. So. Yeah, tell her. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Out of contact. We are back behind security now. Um, our flight still isn't for a couple hours or a few hours still, right? Yeah, I think it's eight o'clock, so we still have about well, four hours to go. Yeah, but we found this little bistro over there. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be our final Slovenian meal. Mm -hmm. I got a big old sausage, it's, some mushroom soup. Yeah, it's the sausage we got at lunch, although I wonder if the one at lunch probably <laughs> was a bit better. Probably, but 
it actually looks pretty good and yeah. it was pretty affordable. Mm -hmm. But I think we're going to uh, leave you guys here um, so we can just put the camera away and have more of a chill ride over to uh, Ireland. Yes. But we're going to be staying in, we're actually landing in London, then we're going to just stay in a hotel near the airport and then fly to Ireland and then start kind of a road trip in Ireland. It was much cheaper to do a layover than it was to fly straight, so that's what we're doing. Yeah, so road trip in Ireland starts tomorrow. We are oh so excited. Gosh. We've been thinking about this for months. We yeah. never planned that far in advance, so it's pretty awesome. It's going to be a fun way to end our European travels. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>